To reach today's destination, we have a long trip ahead of us. It's Boston to San Juan, Puerto Rico, then to the French island of Martinique in the Caribbean for an overnight. And finally, a long flight to South America to French Guiana, where our plane will land in its capital city, Cayenne. French Guiana belongs to the overseas departments of France, much like Alaska and Hawaii are part of the USA, and constitute the only French territory in South America. The population of French Guiana is very sparse, with only 200,000 people living in the entire country, and half of them live in Cayenne. Bonjour, salut. I've made it this far. I'm in downtown Cayenne, or at least I've walked through the to the end of downtown Cayenne. And behind me is the Atlantic Ocean. Doesn't look quite the same as our Atlantic Ocean. It's kind of uh, brownish, grayish. I think there's a lot of sand being churned up by the waves. Also, another thing that's different is that the Atlantic Ocean here is due north. And having been brought up on the East Coast, uh, I'm always thinking of the Atlantic being East. Here it's North. I don't know what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be an adventure, I'm, I'm sure. I'd like to get up to Devil's Island, or at least uh, get up on the coast so I can take a look at it out on the coast. So uh, stay with us and let's see what happens. <laughs> Now since French Guiana is part of France, and naturally the government buildings are located in downtown Cayenne. The area is under the control of a consul general who is assisted by a 15-member council. This seat of government is a great example of French colonial architecture. And also downtown is City Hall, the Hotel de Ville, with the statue of Victor Cherche, the emancipator of Guiana's slaves. Although French Guiana is on the coast and has some beautiful beaches, I only saw two people venture into the water during the whole week I spent here. In spite of the heat and humidity, the danger of sharks keeps the beaches empty. But this sailboarder showed no fear at all. Let's take a trip out of Cayenne to the town of Kuru with its open market. There are only four countries in South America where Spanish is not the language of the people. Here in French Guiana, they speak French. In Brazil, they speak Portuguese. In Suriname, they speak Dutch. And in Guiana, they speak English. While at the market, I came across a vendor selling magnificent examples of tarantulas and rare blue butterflies. A bit further into the jungle, I came across a combination gold mine and aggregate facility. A warning sign said trespassers would be shot, but I ventured in anyway. The things I do to get good video. What's your name, 
sir. My name is Jensen Holger. I see. And how long have you been in this country? Uh, almost two and a half years. And and where do you come from originally? Uh, yeah, that's a very difficult problem. Uh, my is. father, he was Danish, and my mother was uh, Belgian, from oh, Belgium. Very good. Yes, and I have lived all my, almost all my life in Belgium, and but there is everything is close. I all see. the mining I have been uh, doing there, 25 years mining work underground, but that's all finished. Then we went over to Australia, but that's very difficult to get a permanent residence over there. I see. Now, what, what is this uh, operation here? What, what here, do we do here? Uh, here we, um, we production uh, the gravel for, uh, for building. For building. And uh, yes, and uh, gravel for the road. Okay. Now, before the gravel, they take the gold out. Uh, they have an equipment over here, uh, three equipments, but yes. for resilience. Uh -huh. They take the, they're washing the earth yes. on the place. Yeah. And when that's coming off from the sluice, then it's almost, almost clean, they said. Then we bring it in, you see that here, yes. what's laying over there that we have brought in. Uh -huh. And now we wash it again. So that's easy to wash. And the gold is still resting in that we, that we keep. Well, what I got out of that conversation was that Brazilian gold miners extract the gold from the earth using a sluice. Afterwards, the earth is washed to use in building roads. But this man can keep any leftover gold he might find in. last destination is the little Indian village of Rura. The difference in the simplicity and pace of life here as compared to us is immense. But what a carefree and peaceful way to live life. for watching this edition of Let's Visit La Guillaume Francaise. I hope you enjoyed some of the things that we saw. I found it very interesting. So until I see you on the next edition, this is Dave Wells saying au revoir from Devil's Island. Bye now. <laughs>